So some TV presenters are addicted to drugs, some to rock and roll. I am addicted to lasers. When I was sent the LaserWare Glacier 100 milliwatt laser, I should have put it on the 223 and tried it out on Foxes. I'll do that later. Instead, I stuck it on the sub six foot pound air pistol in place of night vision with another 30 milliwatt laser atop as a sight. The reason why? I've got a pest control situation in a tight sight. I already used the green dot on the 30 milliwatt laser. The bigger LaserWare Glacier sells itself as a night vision unit as well as a laser sight. You can adjust the size of the laser beam, put the two together and I have the best of both worlds. Now you might say, don't use air pistols on animals. They are low powered and basically inaccurate. Well, the rat holes are in my chicken run. I can't shoot into it from outside because of the wire and the run is too small for me to use an air rifle. So the point of the exercise is to save my girls from some nasty neighbours. Now I want to work out my zero, which is going to be exactly from the far end of the chicken run, right behind the camera, to that hole down there. So the chicken run is 11 feet long, and that's what I'm going to zero at. It is easy to zero a laser, just twiddle the screws on the mount. Simply wind the dot onto where the pellets are going. My rule for shooting rats with this air pistol is never more than 20 feet. At that distance it's more than capable of killing shots. The laser sight means the pellet goes where the dot is. Here is the result of zeroing at 11 feet, with the pistol clamped. The next stage is the waiting game. It's going to be cold. I need warm clothes and a comfortable Daiwa carp fishing chair. I'm in the perfect disguise. I've also brought Nutella with me, irresistible to rats, and the chickens are about to throw the right place. And I have the weapon. As darkness falls, the setup works well. Using a laser to illuminate a rat hole is a lot easier on the eye than using night vision, where your world snaps from daylight to darkness. There are two major disadvantages. The mounting system means it's easy to knock the laser off zero. I had to put the sighting laser on top because of the ring sizes of the mounts. Ideally, the big one should go on top. And secondly, for whatever reason, maybe my scent is overpowering the scent of Nutella. Maybe the rats can see through my disguise. Maybe they've moved to nearby farm buildings, or maybe the occasional sweep of the laser is scaring them, but no rats. I won't stop using it, however. When I get one, it might have to be a news story for hot air. In the meantime, for more about the unit go to laserware.co.uk